talks resumed but made little headway as Sudan's military rulers and protest leaders remain at loggerheads over who should guide the nation towards a full democracy. We drew up various tasks for the transitional period on which both sides fully agreed. We also discussed the structure of the sovereign authority. Discussed but not resolved. The Transitional Military Council, which has been in power since the overthrow of President Omar al-Bashir on the 11th of April, wants to make up a majority in the executive body. The Declaration of Freedom and Change, a coalition of opposition and protest leaders, insists that the 11-member Transitional Sovereign Council should be civilian-led with a limited military representation. We affirm that we are looking to an agreement which shall satisfy the Sudanese people and its glorious revolution launched in December, a deal that will make all of Sudan proud and be accepted by everyone. Last week, deadly attacks on protesters continuing their sitting outside the military headquarters caused the talks to be suspended. Both the military and protest leaders blamed the violence on al-Bashir's loyalists. Separately, Islamist groups held a protest outside Khartoum's presidential palace on Saturday, accusing army leaders of excluding other civil and political groups from the negotiations and demanding that Sharia law be included in Sudan's political roadmap.